Hey, Nate's over here. <laughs> you got a pen, buddy? There you go. Good boy, Carson. I'll tell you that. Teddy, look. I'll sign one for you. He had to have his jaw broken because he couldn't breathe. His jaw doesn't grow. And it was either that or a train couldn't move. Hey, Teddy, look. The whole time. Want me to sign it for you, bud? Yeah. You got a marker? Thank you. Beautiful moment from uh, our quarterback, Carson Wentz. Uh, <laughs> very, very heartwarming. Uh, Giovanni is the name of that kid. He has uh, had over 12 surgeries in his life, and um, he didn't look like he was older than, you know, eight or nine, maybe 10 years old. So that's a lot for a kid to have to deal with. And when you see quarterback do stuff like that it's heartwarming very proud of Carson Wentz with that being said what is going on everybody this year is with the most Philly gem coming out to another video and we have some more um things to talk about with the second day of training camp um more of the same from Carson Wentz on the field uh he's out there balling he's looking good he's putting passes on the money something to look out for with Wentz, um, everyone's been talking about you know all the moves in the off season and how he he's gotten healthy. Keep your eyes on this. Carson Wentz and Deshaun Jackson are spending a lot of time together. It's like everywhere you look, these guys are together. They're talking about stuff. They're working on routes before practice. They're doing it after practice. They're they are like attached at the hip or something. They're like, uh, I don't know, what do you call those? Like conjointed twins or something when there's twins and they're like on the same body. That's basically what's going on here. So this chemistry is going to be loaded. It's going to be loaded. Um, there's going to be a lot of big plays happening with uh, Wentz and Deshaun Jackson and it's all it, it all starts right now. It starts with it started way back in OTAs, but now it's starting to pick up. And once the season gets here, this is going to be a problem for defenses. Um, so that's it with Wentz. But let's move on to the offensive line. Brandon Brooks, as we know, Brandon Brooks suffered the Achilles injury in the playoffs against the Saints. Um, that was a really tough. Uh, that's a really tough blow, and it, it it would have been a very tough blow for us to go into the season without him. But what it's looking like is Brandon Brooks is going to be there when it's time to play. You know, he did some drills today, and I don't think any of us expected him uh, to be ready, but things look like they're trending in a very good direction with Brandon Brooks. Brandon Brooks is a Big time PC offensive line, solid player. Um, people love uh, Jeff Stoutlin always raves about uh, Brandon Brooks. We always rave about Brandon Brooks. He, uh, like I said, he's a very uh, key part to this offensive line. And the way he is bouncing back from this Achilles injury is very impressive for a guy who is not so young. I mean, he's not so old. Was he 30? He's around 30 years old. Um, maybe a little maybe a little younger than that. Maybe 29. I don't know exactly. I don't know exactly. But um, he might be 31, 32. But anyway, man, uh, Brandon Brooks, he, he, he is really showing positive signs right now. So we are happy about that. Uh, next thing, let's talk about the secondary a little bit. Um, so there's some weird stuff going on. I believe Blake Countess was out today. Craven LeBlanc was out today. And there's been trade speculation about um, Craven LeBlanc. Is Craven LeBlanc going to stay around here? Personally, I would hate to lose Craven LeBlanc. People who know me know how much I love Craven, what he brings to the table, the juice, 
the energy. He flies around. All he wants to do is make plays. But um, there's been all this clowny talk swirling around, and who knows? You know, teams are thin in the secondary. They need one of our corners. I would hate for us to lose him. So with Cravon being out, uh, the second team secondary, uh, they had Malcolm Jenkins playing corner. And I believe the first team starting secondary, Jalen Mills is not all the way there yet. Ronald Darby's not all the way there yet. But uh, they played Rasul Douglas on the outside, and they played Avante Maddox on the outside. And uh, they played Sidney Jones in the slot. And I believe yesterday they played Rasul Douglas on the outside and Sidney Jones on the outside and uh, Maddox in the slot. So they were kind of uh, rotating with Maddox and Sidney Jones right there. So last thing we're going to go over is... 12 personnel. For those of you guys who know, don't know what 12 personnel is, it's when you have two tight ends on the field at the same time. And the Eagles are going to run a lot more of that than they did a year ago. Um, they ran a lot of 12 personnel plays today during practice. And uh, with those two headliners being Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard. And we look forward to seeing what that's going to look like in a uh, on the field because these two guys, Zach Ertz, as we know how reliable he is on third downs coming up clutch, he catches everything. And then you have Dallas Goddard. Both these guys are um, Dallas Goddard coming into his second year. Um, he's probably a lot more comfortable with the offense and the expectations transitioning to the NFL. Um, but these guys, man, they bring such a, they create such a matchup problem on the field. Um, it's very hard to defend both of these guys. It's very hard to defend one of these guys. Let alone you have them both on the field at the same time. You have no idea what's coming at you. That's what you got to get excited for. This offense is loaded. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. We look forward to more training camp stuff, more training camp videos. Let's just try to make it through training camp and preseason without any injuries. Go into the season fully healthy. I I don't know about you guys, but I pretty much can't wait. So, you know some of those Philly Jim, Carson Wentz, you are a great guy, man. We love you. Uh, you're the man. You have all our support. Can't wait to wear number 11 jerseys this year. Um, it's my birthday tomorrow. So, I'm pumped about that, man. I'm very pumped about that. Very excited to have some fun tomorrow. And, um, yeah, I started my job with Temple Owls football on Monday. So, it's a, it's a good time to be in Philly right now. I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Uh, now you should have never doubted me. The pain and the struggle followed me. My daddy never been that bothered me And these cold streets made a man of me No time